well, doesn't work considering the inventory is there, so. And hospital. Do we have to give the delivery notes again? Yes. Well, there you go, Dick. Yes. Um, hello. Are you delivering something? Yes. <sighs> delivery note. <laughs> Whatever. The package? I've got it here. Okay. Can I go in now? I, uh, I've got a pass as well. All right, then. You can go in. He doesn't even want to see it. What? He's not meticulous at all, is he? More of a slacker than anything else. Alright. So this is... a totally, uh... different setting as before. A metal buyer. The edges are bent upwards so no blood drips on the floor. It's got wheels and seems a bit... rickety. It's probably taken to another room for the actual autopsy. There's a buyer. You're just a metal buy. It's probably taken to another room. That's just repeating. All right. A mob. Sure. Thousands of people die every year from infections they pick up in hospitals. Makes me wonder if hygiene hysteria is the better way to go. The cleaning agents they use aren't so innocuous themselves, and the viruses are getting more and more resilient. Well, let's look at all these sort of drawers. Either they assume that Biddeford's population will reach 50,000, or the number of cold drawers is quite over the top. Half the town would have to have a collective heart attack. Well, it's better to be prepared should anything go wrong, you know. Just so, I, I don't know, just imagine some, uh, some event happening and, you know, a whole bunch of people die. Syringe. Sure, I'll take that. Just That's randomly moused over it, but... Quite a size. I guess any remaining fluids are sucked up with that. I certainly wouldn't want my flu shot injected with it. Grab it then. Jeez. Alrighty. Hmm. Six clipboards in total. Let's see... There are lists of the personal belongings each dead person had on them, but there are no names. There's 394 written on the first one. I guess the numbers on the lists here relate to the numbers on the boxes. That means, if I can work out which of these lists belong to Fuller, then I know which box his stuff is in. Okay. Hmm. Six clipboards into there are lists of the personal belongings each dead person had on them, but there are no names. I guess the numbers on the lists yes. here relate to the numbers on the box. That means if I but you can't actually inspect these boxes, and why wouldn't you open them all? I mean, be careful and open them all and close them back up. But oh yeah, let's examine Fuller's corpse. That should be uh. Interesting. Ugh, not a pretty sight. Fuller's body's peppered with stab wounds. They've undressed him. I won't find any clues here. You won't. I'd rather not do that. Whoever it was, he must have been out of his mind. Or I'd her. I'd rather not do that. I'd rather not. Again, with the looping. The mop again. What? So there really is nothing else you can interact with. At least let me do the... Oh, there we go. If you, le if you left click it, it works. So let's examine the boxes. Boxes. They appear to be airtight. There's a number stuck to every box. I think the personal effects of the dead people are stored in them. Yeah. Alright, let's look at these uh, clipboards. Number 394. Hairbrush, lipstick, car keys, mirror. That's hardly going to be the contents of Fuller's pockets. <laughs> Indeed. Number 412. Wallet, keys, Polaroid photo. That could be Fuller. 
Oh, wait a minute. A wedding ring. Fuller was never married, so it's not 412. Number 433. Credit cards. Earrings. earrings no. Uh, no, not Fuller's. Number four. Just look at the date. I mean, that's what I do. Driver's license. Credit card. Keys. Bills. I wouldn't rule that out as being Fuller's. But I'm not certain. I mean, surely these things have a date written on them, right? So, it's a small community, so, you know, there's likely just going to be one death in, well, the same week, perhaps, even, or month, or God knows. So, really, I'm not sure why you're going through this. Number 442. Driver's license, photos, small change, a pacifier. Pacifier. Yeah, baby that's baby totally powder. fuller. Definitely <laughs> not fuller. Well, maybe as a baby fetish. You know. It, it, apparently some people do, so. Number 399. Knife, torch, ski mask, skeleton keys, small change, plastic bag. Unless Fuller was about to set off on a secret thieving trip when he was murdered, then that's not his. So, that one, it is. Number 448. That's the only box left. It's gotta be it. I examined the clipboard, but, you know. Fuller's box is number 448. But where is it? There That's it is. Fuller's box. So open it, jeez. Fuller's keys. Those could be useful. Hey, and here's his wallet. Driver's license few dollars, credit card, a few bills, but no secret numbers or anything like that. I think I'll take the keys. The wallet and the rest of that stuff is of no use to me. Is there really not going to be anything else in there? There's nothing more of interest in it. Are you absolutely sure? Because, you know, that, that seems like a trick a game would pull. I wonder why there's so many boxes here. This many people can't have died in the past few months. Or how long do they store all the junk here? I don't know, dude. Nothing left on this screen, so. That's full as keys. Keys for the store, his apartment, mailbox, automobile, and. Hmm. That's interesting. That's no ordinary key. It's a small hexagonal brass stick. It looks almost like a winding up key for a clockwork toy. Huh. Is it separate from. No, it's not. Okay, well, I guess we're. Um. I'm thinking of, like, the back office with the, the safe and stuff. Is there something there? I don't know. There's nothing else here, right? No, there is not. Exit. Casually just walk out. We didn't steal anything. They're crazy for thinking not, so... Off the force. Let's... Skip over... Like... God, what? For some reason, I always forget that's over to the right there. I don't know, I always start looking left for some reason. So, do we just don't normally have to right. Jump in. Light box. Wait, light box. It is small, but that doesn't require a key, does it? That's full as keys. That's interesting. I mean, there's barely anything else to interact with, so... No, 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 no. Did not want to click there. Uh, we couldn't open the secret door because of the weight yet, right? So... Back room. Telephone. 
boots? That not a thousand. Those are full of dirty shoes for outside. In here, he wears other dirty shoes. Great. If there was a garden outside, and not just a garbage dump, I'd have guessed that Fuller wore them to work in the garden. There's clay and earth on the soles. Huh. Alright, so, can we examine the safe again? There's nothing more that interests me in the safe. How do you know? So I'm gonna roll the map once again? I'll just zoom in, right? Yeah. A greasy map of the world. A grease the USA era. Alright, back. So yeah, telephone and the cuckoo oh wait, the cuckoo clock. That could have something in it, right? There's some space in there. Fuller's old fashioned telephone. Great, that was very helpful.